Hi guys and welcome back to this channel where we talk about technology, electronics and review. In one of my videos, exactly what you can see by clicking the link in above, we built together this 7 segment display clock using colored NeoPixel LED stripes, an ESP8266 microcontroller and a Vorum 2.4 3D printer. And today we see how to program the ESP8266 microcontroller using the Arduino IDE and make the 4 digit clock display in the current time. Time will be always updated thanks to the Wi Fi connection to our web server which return the right time depending on the time zone in which you are located. Let's start by seeing how to program Arduino, but first I invite you to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to the video. Two free actions for you, but which help me a lot continue making content to this channel. Let's activate the fight mode and get started. And so let's start by including the necessary libraries. All the library listed can be easily found by searching within the Arduino IDE. We assign all the objects. And now let's define some of the variables that will be used by this program. The SSID and password variables must contain your network name and password respectively. The GMT variable indicate the time difference from the Greenwich Meridian. Let's see how LEDs are used. There are Five LED for each segment plus two LEDs for each point. In total there are therefore 37 LEDs for each digit. As you can see here in part of the previous video, the segments are named A through G and are in the sequence illustrated in the video. On the right you can see the progressive numbering of the LEDs and their correspondence to their respective segments. Let's move on by assigning the variable that contain the total number of LEDs. And the variable that contain the number of the data pin to which we connect the ESP8266 microcontroller. In this program I use HSV color methodology instead of RGB. If you want to learn more about the HSV system, there is a beautiful Wikipedia page that explains how this method works. If you want to modify the first digit on the right, the value of the variable display number must be assigned the value of 1. Instead, the first digit of the left corresponds to 4. The brightness variable can have a value between 0 and 255. I create the setup procedure and the loop cycle.
PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser, and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM, and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at thepcbway.com. The DYFF variable contains the time lapse since the last time update. When the waiting time is exceeded, an update is performed from the time server. Let's create the procedure that initializes the Wi-Fi connection. Let's create a procedure that turns the LEDs of an entire segment on or off. We pass to this procedure a parameter is on, which is a boolean variable and which determines whether the segment is turned on or off. Now create a for loop that includes the LEDs that are part of that segment and decide whether to turn the segment on or off. Now let's try to switch on all the segment of one digit.
These are two previous video on how I made this new pixel LED clock and which you can see by visiting the links in the description. So guys, if you have any question or suggestions, you can leave a message here in the comments and I will reply to everyone. Stay well and see you in the next video.